In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the sample size for an interval estimate of a population proportion. You'll see this used for polls like candidate A, 25% or 0.25, candidate B, 75% or 0.75. It's also used in surveys as well. The equation looks something like this, not to be confused with the sample size for an interval estimate of a population mean. In this video, I'm going to discuss this top equation, and I added links to the other equation below. I'm going to do an actual equation on calculation. I'm also going to show you how the sample size varies when the proportion changes. And away we go. First, I'm going to write down all the symbols we're going to use. N is the sample size. Z is the z-score. I have a lot of videos on z-score. I'll put some links below. P is the proportion or percentage. And E is the margin of error. Notice the standard deviation is not included in this equation. I'm going to assume a confidence level 1.96, which is the 95% confidence level, a proportion of 0.25, and a margin of error of 0 0.025. Now I take 1.96 and I square it like that times 0.25, which is my proportion, times 1 minus 0.25. All divided by the margin of error squared. Don't forget to square this when you do these calculations. Don't forget to square the margin of error. Did I say that already? Anyway. Now, 1.96 squared is equal to 3.84 times 0.25 times 1 minus 0.25, which is 0.75, divided by 0 0.025 squared, don't forget to square that, which is equal to 0 0.00625. I think I forgot a zero. It's 0 0.000625. When I multiply out the numerator, it equals 0 0.7203 divided by 0 0.000625. And this equals 1,152.48. You should round up always when calculating sample size. So the sample size would be 1,153. When you do this calculation, go slowly and write out all your steps. I'm going to draw a graph with sample size on the vertical axis, n, and along the horizontal axis, I'm going to put proportion. The sample size for proportion is very symmetrical. So if I look at the sample size for 0.25 or the sample size for 0.75, it's the same. Now, you'll recall just moments ago, I showed you this part of the equation. Now, if I do the same thing for 0.75, this part of the equation, which I should highlight right here, that one, is exactly the same as that. It would equal the same thing. The largest sample size you'll ever need for a margin of error of 0 0.025 is about 1,537. What you'll see often is a sample size of 1,600 plus or minus 2.5%. That's what they're showing right here. The sample size is rounded up, and also they're using, instead of saying 0 0.025, they're just saying 2.5%. So share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Links below, like me, subscribe. Subscribe. Like me.